welcome pilots and this is going to be Shepherds, which I'm told is an interesting new sequel to the Wars Closing campaign. So I'm really interested in checking this out. I'm pretty sure if you know Ill-Fated Gaming, Joe, he's just recently done his start for this. So I'd actually also like to try it out myself though. So why don't you say we get into it? But before that, I am Captain Andros and Hello and welcome, pilots, to another stream. <laughs> yes, Shiva, I understand. I'll introduce you to... Just so that any of you heard that, that is the little demon on my shoulder. His name is Shiva. Yes, he is a Shivan, and he is a pain in my butt. As I've told you before, Shiva, our bodies are currently being produced as we speak, so you'll just have to be patient with just being a disembodied voice. You pilots are very lucky you can't understand him though, because really he is an absolute pain in my ass. Alright, let's just let's just begin in the meantime and hopefully he'll shut up for a while. No, I'm not going to die like like Joe does in these games. I'm going to actually try and do a little bit better, but let's let, let's just see. Hmm. Oh, I'm really amped for this. I'm really amped for this. Ooh, cutscene. Capella 2367. Your media blackout has been imposed with regards to the situation on the front lines, but with signs of the evacuation hastening, we can only speculate. These attacks aren't merely remnants of the Sithana's fleet. This is a new invasion that we are witnessing before our very eyes. Next stage of evacuation will proceed at the following, west bank of the capital district, townships of Hillview and Waterson, the plane's spaceport. Wow, there's a lot going on here. Iota Wing. Roger that command. We won't let them through. Activating jump drafts now. Whoa. Worst place to jump out there. These cutscenes are made. Really, so much work goes into these. Ooh, that's a Ravana. Shepherds. Ooh, I'm getting really amped out for this. 
but that's what I can look forward to. This is going to be great. Let's see, attention Nebula, Theater Commanders, from Vice Admiral Vid Vidalia Carver. Let's see, General Operations update. The Security Council is ordering all forces in theater to withdraw to Capella immediately. Loss of the GVD Samtic has been confirmed. Both second Sathanas class vessel and new Nosos artifacts sighted. GTD Iona and Second Fleet assets en route from Capella to assist with evacuation efforts. Phase 2 of Operation Nexus has been postponed, but Phase 1 is to proceed effective immediately. I afford additional details to those taking part in Phase 1. Individual orders from, from High Command are being assigned to all addressed in the message. Time is critical. Godspeed. Vice Admiral Vidalia Carver, Third Fleet, Fleet Liaison, Officer of Military Intelligence Beta Aquile. Gamma Draconis. Dash GTD Ionia, Second Fleet. July 16th. 2367 Situation For the attention of the officers and crew of the GTD Ionia, this is Admiral Ranov. As you all have become aware, a catastrophic development has occurred within the Nebula Theater of Operations. At 1712 hours, while conducting a reconnaissance operation in a Shivan controlled sector of the Nebula, the GVD Samtic was engaged and destroyed by a second Sathana's class juggernaut. Since then, the Shivans have launched a massive, coordinated offensive against numerous allied positions throughout the nebula, utilizing a vast reserve of fresh and previously unaccounted warships. We have yet to determine the origin of these forces. Two hours ago at 1835 hours, GTVA High Command issued an emergency order for all Allied forces to withdraw to Capella where we will mount a defense against the Shivans. Admiral Petrarch and the GTD Aquitaine narrowly escaped to Gamma Draconis, and most of the Third Fleet have since pulled out from the nebula. In conjunction with Admiral Nekber of the 11th Vajudan Battle Group, I have ordered the Second Fleet to cover the retreat of all Allied units from the nebula. All warships short of critical damage are moving out to escort surviving elements of the 5th Fleet and 13th Battle Group to the node while the GVD Memphis Battle Group goes on the offensive to draw off as many Shivan forces as possible. The Ionia will be departing Gamma Draconis soon, and we expect to arrive in the Nebula in just over an hour. Whoa, shit looks really fucked. Squadron Assignments the Ionia will be going into general quarters as soon as we arrive in system, with combat operations commencing immediately. Squadron assignments are as follow. The 9th, 180th and 301st will disperse to escort allied ships to the node and oversee the disassembling of our cargo depots. The 115th will be tasked with providing additional cover for the GVD Memphis as they attack a series of Shivan staging points. The 333rd and 509th are being deployed offensively to engage enemy targets along known Shivan logistical routes and stagger their push. The 78th will remain on standby to respond to any emergent situations. All other squadrons will launch in paired rotations and maintain security within the immediate space around the Ionia, which will reinforce the GVD Toeris and monitor the evacuation effort at the Gamma Draconis jump node. Yo, this looks hectic. State of the Alliance. I will not lie to you. We stand on the precipice of a major Shivan invasion of our home systems. Each minute brings with it new reports of Shivan attacks against our front lines, and the scale of the enemy offensive continues to grow. High Command is hastening the evacuation of Capella, but with such a large population in need of being relocated to neighboring systems, it will take weeks before the evacuation can be completed. 
Shivan Vanguard forces have already begun an incursion into Capella, attacking civilian convoys and rallying points in that system, all while harassing our forces as they withdraw through Gamma Draconis. The consequences of our actions in these dark days ahead will be scrutinized by military historians for decades. It will be during these desperate times that all of us will learn to fight harder than we could have possibly imagined. Our finest hour is approaching. It is my firm belief that the Second Fleet is home to the finest men and women in uniform of the GTVA. Remember this. Make your families proud. Agreed. GTVA Secure Net, 78 Squadron, Voicecom. Received, the 16th of July, 1967, 2138 and 3 seconds TST. Okay, that needs From, to fixed. Lieutenant Commander Eric Lawson. To, 78th Silverbacks Personnel. Heads up. We're exiting subspace in 20 minutes. Chief, make sure our birds are ready by the time we get there. All pilots are to assemble in the briefing room before we exit the node. Wow. That's... That's pretty hectic. What, what do you think? <laughs> you hope all Shivans destroy us. <laughs> well, guess what? That's not gonna happen. No, that's not gonna happen. All right, Silverbacks. It hasn't even been 15 minutes since our arrival from Gamma Draconis and we've already got several deployment orders. Let's get started. Our first mission today is to investigate and re-establish contact with Supply Depot 11, a realign rearm and repair site under 3rd Fleet jurisdiction serving as a rallying point for Allied convoys retreating from other parts of the nebula. Latest reports indicate that the depot's defense force had driven off several Shivan fighter wings before contact was lost. They missed their last scheduled check-in 20 minutes ago, and the reason for the depot going dark is unknown. Nebula activity is passive in that area, and the depot's squadron was still of sufficient strength to broadcast a warning if they had indeed fallen under attack again. Several freighters were also present in the area and more ships were either on approach or in subspace to this location. We need to know why none of these ships have reported back to command. Admiral Ranoff has issued a temporary order for Allied forces to avoid rallying at this location. In addition to serving as a vital route for our forces, the depot also contains critical supplies needed for our warships as well as a number of unoccupied craft. Needless to say, recovering these assets would help us out a lot. Yeah, well, that would make sense. Oh. Alpha Wing, you're on point for this oh. operation. Because we have no intel of what may have happened out there, you will be inserted several kilometers away from the depot and exercise a cautious approach towards it. If the Shivans are indeed responsible for this, they'll likely still be around. Command will assemble an SAR task force should this be the case. Since this is our squadron's first foray into the nebula, I should remind you that visibility is going to be poor. You will need to rely on your radars just as you would rely on a wingmate, but don't expect to pick up much outside of four clicks. This lesson applies to the rest of you as well. If you engage hostile forces, command will deploy reinforcements to your area. However, with dozens of other engagements occurring at this very moment elsewhere in the nebula, it may be some time before help arrives. Don't stray too far from each other, and you'll come home alive. Watch your six out there, Alpha. Report to the fly tech immediately you're launching in five. Beta wing, fall in for mission briefing. Okay, so basically we have to investigate the status of Depot 1111 and then locate allied units. How hard can that be? Well, at least I got a... Okay, I do have some ships to work with. Um... Well, 
would I like to go with on this sort of a mission? Let's, let's stick with that. Please tell me we've got... Maxim. Spark HL7, Prometheus Standard. Okay. For once, it's actually giving me some decent weapons for once. Stiletto. Uh, no, definitely not. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just gonna just go to the smart mission. Alright. Let's do this. Understood Alpha 2, investigate the status of the depot. The evacuation is ramping down. The time is of the essence. Command out. Alright. Let's do this. you but I'm seeing a little bit of red in the middle of all that green Great. so you're sending out three fighters you could at least have given me an alpha four I suppose that was way too much to ask for. Oh, well, starting to see something. What is all that? I'm being cautious, not scared. There's a big difference, dude. something. Terran debris. There's more. Debris field. Watch your speed team. Also not liking this myself. Wait, that's a cruiser. Wow. Can't even select it. Can't even scan it. Okay, Alt X, and I have a feeling that the Shebans are going to come flocking to us. Await a response. Oh, I don't like this at all. I really don't like this. I'm 
not so sure about this. Really, I'm not liking this. Six months straight. Argo transport. Still can't select anything. Uh oh. I think something's, something's gonna happen any second now. direction though because it's not like it gives me any nav point or anything. Uh oh. Oh you've gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright everyone get in there and let's protect that Hippocrates. Ah, ah. No you don't. That's not good. So it actually does have a beam turret. That's interesting. It's not much, but it should be enough to give it some sort of protection. Uh oh. Well then, let me go greet our guests. Asteroths.
Yeah, everything's going to hell. Wonderful. always fucking dragons. I absolutely hate these guys. Maybe I should have gone with something that I can use harpoons with. Prometheus still does good damage to them. Stop moving around. Let me sh kill you. He must have given up on actually trying to dodge. Whew. Oh my goodness. Nugget. Volley. And spades. Nugget, volley, and spades. They're all damaged. Oh, jeez. Got jumped by Mars while we escorted a convoy at the node. Got pretty banged up, but managed to reject at the last second. He's been covered by a real one. Good, 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 good. This transport... This thing doesn't look like it's docked very well. I'm just saying. Unless, unless we're at that point where they can dock wirelessly now. Ow. Details are sketchy so far. Seems like the explosion rocked the depot. Yeah. That's a crunch. Strong enough to knock out several of the subsystems. Whoa. Time's over. Let's <laughs> go meet all. Let's go meet all guests. Ow. Bombers. There you are. Split them up, split them up. Oh, I've got the 
this truck is fuck this valuable. Starting to irritate me now. So if you're gonna destroy someone with missiles, that's how you do it. So that's my target of the bombers. Them on the run, got him on the run. Let's finish them off. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, stop moving around. Yes. Guys, you need to learn how to dodge. It's not exactly difficult. See? Mars where Always the worst part when you run out of missiles at the worst possible time. There we go, there we go. Finished them all. Alright boys. Let's get the... Uh, oh, well, never mind. Let's get the hell out of here. There we go. All sorts. That's how you destroy Shivans. Welcome back to the Ionia, pilots. Thanks to your efforts, the GTM Panacea made it to the Gamma Draconis node and is currently en route to Capella. GTVA Command, the GTVA Medical Corps and Bainoff Medical representatives are pleased with the cover you provided. Well done, 
That's how it's done. Thanks to the Panacea's crew, we now have an idea of what happened to the depot. One of the Defense Force's pilots, likely under intense stress, claimed he saw a Shivan fighter near the depot's cargo platforms. This sent the crew aboard the GTFR Fencerton into a panic. The Fencerton had just docked with a munitions container which included a large stockpile of GTM-14 EMP missiles. The ship crashed into the depot's support beams, causing a detonation of the munitions and blanketing the area with enough M interference to disable everything within a 2 km radius. The explosion likely attracted Shivan attention, who would pick off the helpless pilots and most of the ships around the depot. The Panacea was far enough away to be unaffected by this, and went into hiding until they detected your wing's IFF signatures. Why the Shivans failed to completely destroy the depot remains unclear, but that doesn't matter. Lambda Wing, escorted by the 9th, arrived to secure the depot after your departure, driving off Shivan remnants after an intense dogfight. Although neutralizing all hostiles would have made their mission easier, it was outside our mission parameters. Right now the depot is back under allied protection, and our convoys are once again passing through it. The GTC Kaluga is currently being towed out of the nebula, and second fleets making the most of those supplies that were recovered. In the meantime, I suggest you get something to eat and return to the flight deck in 20 minutes. This war is far from over. Yeah, well, that's the conquering heroes for you. Always in need. Ooh, another nebula mission. Interesting. Whoa. Pilots, have a seat. The Allied evacuation from the Nebula Theater is now in full swing. The GVD Toeris and the last of the 13th entered Gamma Draconis 10 minutes ago, and 5th Fleet and the 6th Battle Group will form the bulk of the next wave moving out. Shivan attacks are intensifying on our position, but our squadrons are pushing themselves to the limit to cover the beachhead around the node, and engineers aboard the Ionia are working around the clock to keep us in this fight. The GVD Memphis continues to harass Shivan staging grounds in an effort to buy time for our rallying points, but with more of our positions coming under attack, the 78 THS being deployed to help relieve the pressure on our forces. Yo, this is gonna be insane. Our onboard tacticians have recommended immediate action against a Shivan hunter killer group the Memphis encountered at one of their recent engagement zones. This group, led by the Moloch class Corvette SCV Lyok, has been an elusive pain to our fleet's proverbial ass since Allied operations resumed in the nebula, and are responsible for the loss of multiple Allied cruisers and fighter wings. The rest of this formation consists of the Rakshasa class cruisers Gusioin and Rofocal and the Kane cruiser Wendigo. Although these ships have yet to appear at any allied position since last contact, it is only a matter of time before they strike again. A plan has been crafted to draw them out into the open and eliminate them, thus allowing lagging allied units to make their runs for the node more safely. Under Executive Order 21, the Admiral has released the following intel directly to our squadron. It is classified level Psi, and any unauthorized disclosure of this information will be punishable under the DNIP Convention, Section 21.3.5. Whoa. At 1704 hours, fighters wings from the GVD Santic made an astounding discovery, a second Nosos portal located deep within the nebula. Command had ordered the Samtic to secure the portal and pave the way for an exploration of the region beyond. Due to the strong energy field exerted from the subspace portal, as well as a highly charged nebula storm in the region, they were dropped out of subspace in a position vulnerable to the second Sathanas as it emerged from the device. 
Although the Security Council's Office of Applied Research would love to get a closer look at this device, our strategic position hinders it. Instead we will conduct an assault on Shivan targets around the portal. The Shivan battle group was encountered relatively close to this location, and we hope an attack in this sector will draw a response from them. Oh, that's interesting. Alpha and Beta Wings, you will form the first attack group. Because of the aforementioned issues plaguing subspace vectoring to this location, Admiral Ranov sorted a Pegasus stealth fighter to drop a navigation buoy about 5 kilometers from the portal. This will help your wings exit subspace at a safe distance. Oh, that's helpful, thank Before you. Before deploying the beacon, our scout reported that the Shivans had begun to set up a cargo depot not far from the portal, with transports, freighters and warships both entering and exiting at the portal. The depot is defended by around a dozen sentry guns and a wing of Manticore-class fighters. Engage these fighters first, as it's expected more Shivan fighters will jump into the area after you arrive. Once the area is clear, you may hit the depot before the next stage of the operation commences. It's not a primary objective, but denying the Shivans their supplies is always a sound idea. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they'll be like, and I had important stuff in there. Command will then deploy the GVC Kivtoth and the GTC Ascendant along with Gamma Wing from the 251st Squadron off the Memphis. The cruisers will form a blockade of the portal, engaging Shivan forces that either enter the nebula from the portal or are attempting to depart through it. Your job is to provide fighter cover for our warships. Should we lose either cruiser, Command will abort the operation. If the Shivans take the bait, we'll spring our trap. Zeta Wing from the 333rd oh, Axe nice. Devils Bomber Squadron will jump in. Flying Bornages Bombers, they'll be armed with Cyclops torpedoes and will begin their bombing runs on the Shivan Battle Group. Your job at this stage will be threefold. Bomber Escort, Beam Disarmament and Warship Protection. Alpha 1. You will have full command of all wings deployed during this operation. A lot of lives are counting on you. Good luck out there, pilots. Okay, so, destroy the Sheevan battle group, protect the Ascendant and the Kev Kevthoth, I think that is, and destroy the Sheevan cargo depot. So, let's see what ships we have to work with. Oh, okay, we'll have to make do with what we've got. Please tell me we've got Kazers. But at least we have maximum cannons. That could probably be useful. That could be very useful. Do I have any tribs? Yes, there are tribs. Let's try it out and see how it works. Everyone, move out. Piece of me, come get it. Come on, how is he able to tank this? I'm 
someone got him at least. Dragon. Ooh, got him. Here's the next one. Gotcha. Next. The dragons we've got to take care of. They're far too dangerous to be left alone. Everyone, finish them off. Oh, you shivans blow up so nicely. <laughs> I meant that as a compliment. It's not my fault you don't have a sense of humor. Let's hold the fort for a while. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna see what's left. Alright, that's fine. Oh, the Arsini disappeared in this area. Checkpoint reached, all right. Say that. I've got to say, I love those AOX class cruisers. You will.
Oh, they got him. Everyone engage. Everyone engage. Bonus objective. Very nice. I think these guys are starting to get very stupid. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, no, 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 no. It just came and went. Get him, get him, get him. Thank you. Overkill for a reason.
Uh oh. Everyone get to the fight. Get to the fight. Get to the fight. Ascendant needs to get the hell out of you. The most protection. Okay, now for the next one. So nice. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Wait, the Ravana's on nine percent health? Uh oh. Guardians. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Now they can't blame that on us. Welcome back, pilots. You flew through hell out there and made it back safely. It is a shame the same cannot be said of the cruisers deployed during this operation. There was nothing you could have done to save either the Ascendant or the Kivtoth. The vessel you encountered was the SD Andromalius. This destroyer has been a menace to our forces in the Nebula ever since we returned to it following the defeat of the first Sithanas. The Andromalius is now directly responsible for the destruction of eight of our warships during this conflict. 
Before arriving in your field of operation it had shock jumped the GVD Immune of the 6th Battle Group, destroying a vessel that has seen combat since the Terran Vajudan War and taking with it some of the most experienced officers in the Alliance. It is also responsible for the destruction of the GTCV Valiant and multiple convoys over the past six hours. Striking the Nosos was a risky move, but we can take solace in knowing that our distraction allowed for more of our forces to escape its wrath. While engaging the SC Wall and its reinforcements, you managed to completely destroy that Shivan gas mining convoy without letting a single ship escape. Job well done. I've just gotten another deploy order for our squadron. I hate to send you guys back out there after the last mission, but time's short. Report back to the deck in five, and I'll fill you in on your next mission. Okay, so we lost the cruisers, but we still sort of completed the mission. At least we were able to take out enough of their cruisers, at least. We were expecting a Moloch Corvette. That's what I was expecting to come through. But when I, when I saw it was a Ravana, I was like, oh, that's not good. Alpha, Beta, listen up. We don't have much time. As you know, our last operation didn't go exactly as planned. No. The Lyak and the Gaseoin attacked a convoy running a highly sensitive operation for GTVI. The squadron assigned to this unit has mostly been wiped out, and we're the only squadron that can get to them in time. The convoy consists of two AWACS vessels, the GTA Almagest and the GVA Aman. The GVC Meseti is attached to this unit providing warship support. Okay, that's nice. GTVI hasn't provided us with much to work with. All we know is that the convoy has since made an emergency jump towards the nearest Allied surveyed region, Sector 103. Your mission is to escort them straight to the node, fighting back whatever the Shivans send your way. Okay. Once you guys are off the deck, Ionia Control will transmit the coordinates for the convoy. It's going to take at least two jumps to get there, three for the convoy to get back to the node. So we're going to protect them the whole way. Support during this operation is going to be limited, if non-existent. The Ionia is still covering the evacuation of Allied forces through the node, and the Memphis continues to conduct an aggressive counter-attack against Shivan positions. All of our support ships are currently on the field rearming our squadrons elsewhere in the nebula, so nice. you'll have to make do with whatever you bring. Allied Command wants our evacuation wrapped up within the hour. Admiral Ranoff specifically told me that GTVI needs those AWACS ships to return safely. Don't screw up. Good luck out there, pilots. Um, joyous. So we have to escort them to the safe zone. Well, let's see what we got to work with. Wonderful. When are we going to get Kazers? One is there, one is there, that's all trash. Not using that. I'm gonna go with my old favorite.
37% health. That thing has really taken a beating. Dodge. I love that. <laughs> All right, boys, let's do this. Several minutes later. Ooh. All right, everyone. Moving, 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 moving. You weren't expecting that, were you? Alright, let's finish them off. Boys, let's finish these assholes off. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, took it right to the face. Now for bombers. Yeah, fellows this time around. Wonderful. Good job, everyone. Destroy. There it is. Up quite nicely. Right. right, good job, everyone. Man, I tell you, these main two cruisers can certainly take a hit. And they can certainly dish it out. All right, all right, everyone, let's just stay together. Finish them off. All right, C three five. Oh, there we go. Five. This cruiser is basically our warship protection right now.
Miyana. I was a little mixed with you. Travels put away in coordinates. We're ready to go. Alright, people, let's get the hell out of here. This is gonna be bad. Come on, come on. So, walk or path to? I would prefer let's go to where there's a cruiser. At least, cruiser will give us better work, uh, at least, better coverage, at least. Feeling no matter which way we go, we're gonna have lots of enemies. But fun. Personally, I would rather be near my cruiser than just a depot. Or at least the cruiser can get better protection. At least I'm hoping that's the case. Six minutes. Oh dear. Oh dear. Here they come. Bombers. Come on. out first, take the bombers out first. Alright. Alright, now move on to the Mars. Yeah, that's it. Beams. Run or out? Alright. I'll hold out for a few more minutes before we can jump out. More bombers, more bombers. Orbeez this time.
Please don't shoot me with your own beans. is not looking too good. Neither is the AWACS. It's a Corvette! It's the York. But wait, there. Oh no. Oh no, no. Engines are down. We need a repair transport immediately. Oh shit. Ugh. I hate when that happens. Yeah, let's go to checkpoint one. I'm guessing... They should... They should... Ah! die okay I didn't like number one so this time I think I'm gonna go with two Hopefully this time around, uh, still can't call for support, damn it. I think that just makes life much more difficult when you can't call me for support. Well, the 
this one at least isn't disabled like the other one. Just about execute destruction protocols. in five minutes. Okay, so we're gonna try and keep this place safe for a few minutes. Aha. Well, considering it doesn't take much to destroy an Athen class cruiser. It's got two beam turrets. Uh -oh. Heads up. Oh, shit. Yeah, how do I not see that one? <laughs> Ow. Yes, I know, it helps if I don't fly in front of the beam. Yes, really, no shit. <sighs> Alright, let, let's, let's hopefully try this again and let's try not to die this time around. Okay, I'm just gonna go two this time around. At least I know what to expect this time around. As long as I've lived it beforehand. Yeah. I kind of wish I had the maxing cap. That would have been a bit more helpful. So unfortunately those bloody bullets, um, they take a lot to kill those. But the most important thing is once you take out that big forward beam cannon, it's not as uh, much of a threat. Technically, even if that cruiser was at like 100% health, there's no ways in hell they would have been able to take on that Lymouth cruiser. There's just, there's just no way in hell that that's possible. But I will say, I am really liking this music. This music really is cool. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, it's coming. Just, there it is. This on me. Uh, all right. I think this time around, I think I'm just gonna leave it alone. Yeah, checkpoint one. Let's just speed things up here so they can find it. Everyone up there, maybe if we swarm the bastard, maybe we'll be able to take him out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotta try all different strategies. One of them will work. Please. As soon as that son of a bitch pops in, he's, gonna, he's just gonna straight away blow this thing away. Come on! I was gonna win that time! Damn it. Should have realized that it was gonna do that.
can take out that beam cannon being almost likely to be safe. Friend, now what you gonna do? One thing I'll say about Manta Corps, once their shields are gone, they're not exactly much of a threat. Oi! Oh, leave me alone! Good 
grief, what is this thing made of? Get the hell out of here. Come on, come on, come on. Wow, that was close. Shields. Let's have our shields regenerate like ultra quick. One piece. Um, yeah, define one piece. It's gonna spark the debate. I should have thought that one up there. Man, this main has got is just can start tank so much damage. Gotta be fucking kidding me. Come on! Asteroids. I hate asteroids. What thing about sheep shields is that they've got too much shields. Off, man, fast. Yada. Fuck off. No locks gone. Oh, thank goodness. Oh no, the Ionia.
That was Welcome certainly a close one. Welcome aboard the GVD Memphis Ooh. pilots. I am Lieutenant Commander Nebet, GTVI's representative aboard this warship. Before losing contact with the GTVA, I was informed of your mission regarding two of our AWACS vessels, and I am most pleased that you were able to protect both ships from the relentless Shivan offensive. While I cannot divulge the exact nature of the data they were carrying, I can say that it was immensely valuable for our analysts. In addition to our convoy, you were also able to protect the GVC Messetti, one of GTVI's prized cruisers. As you witnessed, the Messetti is a test bed for photon beam weaponry on our Menture class cruisers, and houses modified version of the twin Akiton N21E reactors that power these vessels. We will need all the firepower we can get our hands on if we are to return to Capella. For preserving all three vessels, you have been awarded with the Allied Defense Citation. Medal! Before I depart, I have learned that the three of you will be temporarily assigned to the 36th Squadron, stationed here on the Memphis. They are a battle-hardened unit, and your talents will allow you to fit right in. Please also allow me to express my regret at the losses of your wingmen during this mission, and of the GTD Ionia. They will be honored and afforded the proper ceremonies upon our return to Allied space. Admiral Nekba will be making an address shortly. Wow, what a clusterfuck. Sure, alright, so... So that means they weren't the Sudan vessels for a while. Uh, that's a lot to read. If you guys wish to read that, you can always just pause the video and just, you know, continue with that, but, yeah. The Nebula. Dash GVD Memphis, 11th Battle Group. July 17th, 2367. Welcome. To the attention of all officers and crew of the GVD Memphis, this is Admiral Nekba speaking. I would like to first wish a warm welcome to all pilots and crew persons displaced by the Shivan Offensive. The Memphis is a proud ship whose crew have faithfully served both the Emperor and the Vajudan people with honor and distinction, and your presence here will not only strengthen our reputation within the Alliance, but will cement the 11th Battle Group standing as a premier GTVA frontline unit. From our battles with the rebellious Neo-Terran Front in Alpha Centauri, Sirius and Regulus, to our recent operations here in the Nebula, our battle group has proven time and time again to be capable of tackling any challenge put before us. We now face our greatest challenge yet our very survival. Ooh, that's dark. Allied Retreat. In the past 24 hours, we have gone from being on the cusp of securing this frontier of space to witnessing a full-scale rout of allied forces from the nebula. We have lost the GVD Samtic, the GVD Immune, the GTD Ionia, and numerous other vessels to this renewed Shivan onslaught. The death toll is estimated to be over 50,000, with thousands more missing in action. In addition to the discovery of a second Sathana's class juggernaut, recent operations in the nebula have encountered at least six additional Shivan destroyers and dozens of previously unreported Corvette and Cruiser class warships. One of these destroyers, a Ravana class destroyer designated the SD Andromalius, is a cause for growing concern, as it is directly responsible for the destruction of seven allied warships including the Immune and the Ionia. With our beachhead at the node lost, all allied units remaining in the nebula are effectively trapped behind enemy lines. All attempts by the Memphis to contact command have failed, suggesting that the Shivans have struck our communication relays in either Gamma Draconis or Capella, severing our link to the rest of the Alliance. No, that's not good. Plan of Action before we attempt to escape the nebula, there are still two objectives here that must be completed. Our first objective is to render necessary repairs to the Memphis ahead of a push through to Gamma Draconis. 
our recent offensive operation that bought time for the safe withdrawal of many allied assets came at the cost of our photon beam cannons, which were finally spent during our victorious but intense engagement with the SD Ashimu. Although we are escorted by our comrades aboard the GVCV Mars and the GVC Shu, who have served skillfully alongside the Memphis since the formation of our battle group, we will need the firepower of our main guns to ensure a safe retreat to Capella. Intelligence has pointed us to a number of cargo depots far behind the Shivan advance which may contain the parts necessary to bring our guns back online. Secondly, we are aware that thousands of allied personnel remain stranded in the nebula outside of our small fleet. It is our obligation as officers of the GTVA to spare any available resources to find them to shepherd them back safely to allied space. All squadron leaders are to report to quarterdeck, where I will brief you of your squadron's orders. Savajuda and Satera. Greetings, pilots. Welcome to the 36th Orbos Gak Squadron. I am Commander Frim, the Squadron Commander. This squadron has served the Imperial Dynasty well for many a season since its upbringing aboard the PVD Guardian. The 36th have faithfully served the Vajudan people at our most desperate times, from the battlefields of Antares at the height of the 14-year war to the carnage that consumed our space during the Great War and along the Alpha Centauri Sirius Dinib line in the recent NTF conflict. Named in honor of a fierce species of predators from the northern ocean of Vajuda Prime, we are one of the few named squadrons in the Vajudan half of the GTVA, having earned it through hard-fought successes. With the decommissioning of the Guardian in 2365, we have come to call the Memphis our home. Your presence will surely add to this squadron's prestige. Allow me to express my condolences for the loss of your flagship. I had the privilege of serving aboard the Ionia as part of the officer exchange program at the onset of the rebellion. Admiral Ranoff was an officer who worked tirelessly to maintain the bond between our two species. They will be missed. As you know, our fleet will be making a run for the Gamma Draconis node. However, our current state leaves much to be desired, and our chances of successfully returning to Capella are minimal unless we can bring the Memphis guns back online. With Shivan attention focused towards Capella, we find ourselves in a unique position to solve our current dilemma. Scouts have reported that at least five allied supply depots lie intact, with light shivan presences confirmed at or near these locations. While the Memphis will continue to serve as a rallying point for scattered allied units, multiple fighter wings will be launched to attack and destroy these depots. The Admiral intends to make this a very visible operation that will hopefully deceive the shivans as to our real goal. At the center of our operation is Supply Depot 15. Unlike the other depots, we will not be destroying this one. This site was constructed by the 13th Battle Group to support Allied offensives deeper into the nebula, and according to logistics logs a pair of cargo containers carrying photon beam parts had been delivered to this location a few days ago. The defense force at the depot was wiped out in a Shivan attack several hours ago, and if the other depots are an indication, we suspect this one to also still be intact. Alpha Wing, you will be entrusted with this mission. Your first objective will be to secure the area of any Shivan fighters. Once all hostiles are down, you must scan the containers to locate the parts. Once these are located, the Memphis will then deploy Sigma-1 and Sigma-2 to recover the cargo and haul them back. Because we only have two freighters available, we will deploy only one at a time to maximize survivability. Protect these ships at all costs. 
If possible, we may redeploy Sigma to retrieve other essential cargo such as medical supplies. You will be relieved for that phase of the operation however. Because we are trying to draw Shivan forces towards other engagement zones, your wing will be the only one sorted in your area of operation during the main phase of the mission. Beta Wing will be deployed to secure the area should further recovery of supplies be viable, but only after we have recovered both cargo pods. Be warned that the Shivans will become suspicious of our intentions at this depot when they realize we are not attacking it. A survivor from the 251st, Lieutenant Nahebu, will be joining Alpha Wing from now on. I believe you have flown alongside him in a previous operation, and based on your performances thus far, I feel he would benefit the most from flying in your wing. One last thing. While receiving a heavy influx of survivors to our hangar base, the fighters that you arrived in were damaged and have been deemed dangerous to fly without proper repairs. Fortunately we have a number of Seth class fighters modified for Terran use that are still space worthy. You will have to make do with these craft while our other fighters are being repaired. Good luck out there, pilots. Okay, so we have to retrieve the beam emitters. Alright. Okay, so they're only the Seth. I think let's just have a Prometheus as well. We definitely need that. I wanna do I wanna do this quickly. Make sure that everyone has that. Alright then. Let's do this. Send in that transport now and get these things out of here.
Süden ona da sarı. the ship, man. Hurry up. Wings? Oh, wow. Not know that it actually moved. Yo, he actually managed to tank that. This is Ooh, some of them. All right, Sigma One, get that thing out of here as quickly as possible. 
Two luck in the call. Send in the next one. Oh, joyous. We're about to have a come. Hello. Protect that cruiser. Two minutes. Okay. Let's hold let's hold the line for two minutes. Stay by the cruiser and we go and get our, our new friends. down. Sorry, dude, not today. Ooh. Protect that target. This is the one they're after.
Shouldn't they have given us Taurus or something like that? These things are so slow. <laughs> Sigma 2, get that bloody thing out of here. Momentarily. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Alright, we're done. Alright, good job, traps. For your excellent record of confirmed kills, you have achieved the status of ace. Yeah. Welcome back, Alpha. You performed exceptional in your first sortie with 36 Squadron. Our engineers are already hard at work in getting our main beam cannons back online. And we can expect to have sufficient firepower to lead our forces back to Allied lines. Unfortunately, Sigma Wing was unable to retrieve more supplies as heavy Sheevan reinforcements swarmed into the area. Beta Wing ensured that all cargo was destroyed before withdrawing back to the Memphis. The GTC Audacious arrived at our rally point safely. The crew of the Audacious sends their thanks for protecting them from those bombers. We also managed to destroy the Mephisto class freighters before they, they could steal some of the cargo from the depot. Denying our enemy our technology is a top priority for the Alliance. Then you fulfilled this priority while under heavy fire. Excellent work. Alpha 1. Admiral Nekba has specifically requested for you to partake in, uh, in the operation of great importance to the fleet. You will return to this briefing room in one hour. It seems your skills have not gone unnoticed, Terran. Great work saying the days of the cruiser. Oh, that's a Ravana, and that's a Pegasus. I think I know what's going on. This should be fun. Greetings, Alpha One. While your wingmates are sorted to escort the GVCV Sopedu to our current position, Admiral Nekba has selected you to undertake an important mission. Success in this mission is crucial for ensuring our successful reunion with the GTVA. For this operation, you will be flying a Pegasus-class stealth fighter. The pilot of this craft has been admitted to our medical bay due to combat injuries, but the fighter remains intact. This is a fortunate occurrence as the Memphis has yet to receive a complement of our own to stealth fighters. We need you to scout Shivan fortifications on the far side of the Gamma Draconis node. Reconnaissance has detected heavy subspace activity in the area, so it may be possible the Shivans have either reinforced their positions or deployed further expeditionary forces through the node. Detection during this operation will almost guarantee a hardening of Shivan defenses, so maintaining stealth is imperative. I hate stealth missions so much. At 2,531 Vajudan Standard Time a scouting wing from the 33rd discovered a Lilith-class cruiser, designated the SC Hypnus, moving along a known route towards the jump node. We believe in about 20 minutes it will arrive at the node and depart through it. Departing through the node as the Hypnus enters subspace should mask your jump signature, allowing you to slip into Gamma Draconis undetected. It is estimated that you will have approximately three minutes to scout the area around the node before the Hypnus reaches it. Scan any Shivan warships you uncover, as this will assist with our breakout plans. 
This in turn will minimize damage sustained to our ships, which will undoubtedly help us in further operations. Fortunately, the stabilization of the node has reduced the time it will take to traverse it. Whereas once it had taken over 10 Terran standard hours to travel through the portal, it will now take approximately 73 minutes to reach Gamma Draconis. Whoa. Upon arriving in system, you will be tasked with determining the strength of enemy forces. Scan any hostile warships present while avoiding detection. While the sensors of transports, freighters and warships are unable to pick up the Pegasus on their radars, fighter and bomber craft will be able to detect you if you stray too close. To remain undetected, you must stay 600 meters away from enemy patrols while in the nebula, and 1200 meters upon arrival in Gamma Draconis. Any activity from your afterburner will be detected immediately, as will firing your weapons. You will need to engage stealth mode, shift and N, which will prevent accidental discharge of these systems. Okay, okay. Once you have completed your tasks and are safely away from any Shivan patrols, you may jump out to a pre-designated location and await the GVD Memphis's arrival. Attempting to jump back through the node only risks detection by the Shivans. We intend to evacuate the nebula once all repairs are complete, which should be in three hours time. Good luck, pilot. Okay, so I need to infiltrate Gamma Draconis, recon, maintain stealth and scan major threats. You know, I want to be able to redo that. Shift in.
73 minutes later. So I've got to keep these guys a thousand two hundred meters away from. So far, so good. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm 
not here. There's nobody here. The mission was a failure. Ah, oh, bullshit. That's why I hate these bloody stealth missions. They're so broken. Yeah, checkpoint one. Yeah, let's go with that. Yes, I'm sorry, that was absolute nonsense. Oh, come on, you know, really. I hate scanning machines, though, because it won't fucking scan properly.
fucking way are these guys going? Crummy. more of a case of just why don't you go and blow up something, you know, go take out a cruiser or something like that, leave me alone. So good. Scan the code for.
is the lead net. I've managed to pick out two cruisers, or three cruisers, one but annihilated. Okay. Should complete the gates of subspace tries. Welcome back to the Memphis <laughs> Alpha One. Shortly after you completed your mission, a Shivan scouting wing discovered our fleet's rallying point and forced us to move up our timetables for breaking through to Gamma Draconis. Fortunately your reconnaissance mission gave us the intelligence necessary to complete this maneuver without incurring any losses to the fleet, although a number of our vessels were damaged during the breakout. While work still needs to be done to bring the Memphis guns to full operational status, we had sufficient energy in our cannons to break through Shivan lines. We destroyed the SC Sagriva and drove back the SCV Abraxis upon entry into the system, and we are now holding position in the outer reaches of the system while our fleet gathers. The SD Nebiros is a matter of concern, however. According to the data you gathered, this destroyer did not depart for the Capella jump node. Given the superiority of Shivan subspace technology and navigation, we believe the vessel is waiting to ambush the fleet should we attempt to escape. Long-range scans have already detected a sizable Shivan force gathering around the node. We must divide and conquer the Shivans before we can return to allied controlled space. I am pleased to report the rest of your wing successfully completed their mission. That's good. That's they good. have arrived in Gamma Draconis with the GVCV Sopedu and should be returning to the Memphis soon where you may reunite with them. One last thing. During the brief period that we had control of the node, a transport docked with the GTC Warwick and recovered nearly a hundred survivors from the cruiser. These crewpersons are now recovering aboard the Memphis and have expressed gratitude for your role in finding them. Excellent work, pilot. Scanning all Shivan warships in the nebula will help minimize damage to GTVA forces during their escape. Welcome back to the Memphis. Okay. Now oh, this looks like it's gonna be fun. Alrighty then, that looks like that's going to be a lot of fun though, but we'll have to probably save that for another time then. So what do you think so far, Shiva? Did, did you think that was a lot of fun, or...? Yes, I know, I died a lot. Yes, I know. Pretty sure you were happy to see that now, weren't you? You're an asshole. Anyway, I hope all of you enjoyed, and um... Please stay tuned though, because I'm definitely going to be finishing this one very soon. I'll see you guys around. Good luck, and try to stay safe out there, pilots. This is Andros, signing off.